Hello and yonjong to each and every one of you. In today's video, I wanted to show you all how to make another yo recipe. And this yo is what we like to call in the Molang dialect, yo fo. Yo refers to as rice cake and fo is the technique, the style, the texture behind this particular rice cake. In the Hmong culture, you can typically find this being eaten during uh, in celebration of the Hmong New Year or during any special occasions as a snack for people to have. I was able to spend time with my grandma so that that she can teach me her ways so that I can preserve it and be able to teach it to others as well. So today I'm showing it to all of you so that hopefully you can make it as well um, wherever you are. It's actually really easy to make. The soybean gives this rice cake a very nice nutty and slightly sweet and creamy texture and flavor and it's just very nostalgic to me and I love it so so much because my grandma would always make it for us every single year and still makes it till this day. So with that being said, let's just get to it and I'll show you how to make yofo. Let's go. So the first thing I want to do is to soak the rice and today I'm using the long grain sticky rice. My grandma likes to use long grain sticky rice to make yofo. And this is the packet that we're using. We like to use long grain sticky rice because of the texture and the flavor of it. So I'm just going to do about four rice cups and place it into a bowl. And rinse it a few times. And then we're going to soak it in lukewarm tap water for about six hours. And for the soybeans, I'm using about one rice cup of soybeans. And this is dried soybeans. And then we're gonna soak it in lukewarm tap water as well for at least six to 12 hours. After six to 12 hours, it should plump up and hydrate itself and double in size. Go ahead and drain the water and this is what you get. And for the rice, after six hours of soaking it, I drained it really, really well. You want to let it drain for at least 30 minutes to an hour. And then we're going to place it into a food processor. So this is my food processor. I like prefer using a food processor to grind the rice because it has a lot more space. Place the well-drained rice into it. And we're gonna pulse and grind the rice a couple of times. Scrape the sides. We're gonna pulse again. And this is the consistency that my grandma likes. A little bit on the finer side, but still has some texture. So we'll stop here. In a blender, we're going to add in the soaked soybeans along with two cups of water. And then we're going to blend it until it is nice and smooth. Pour it into a really good non-stick pot. along with half a cup of sugar. Give it a really good stir and then turn on the heat and let this come to a boil. And keep stirring as you're cooking this or else the bottom is going to burn. Once it comes to a boil, go ahead and add in the ground up sticky rice. And at this point, Keep on stirring until it becomes a nice and thick consistency. And the temperature is at medium high. Just make sure you keep stirring it or else the bottom is going to burn. This should take about two to three minutes to thicken. Once it thickens, it should look like this. And then let this cool before we go and wrap it. So when it comes to wrapping, you can use foil or banana leaves. Cut it into a rectangle shape and then we're going to add it about half a cup to a cup of the rice and soybean filling right into the center. You could do more or less depending on what kind of size you want to make this ngyol. 
spread out really nice and then I'm just going to wrap this into a rectangle shape. You could definitely make this circle, you can make a triangle, any shape will work for you as long as it is nice and consistent. And it should look like this. Now you can also use banana leaves, but if you use banana leaves, I prefer to put foil on the bottom and then a nice clean rectangle banana leaf cut. Place your filling inside as well and then just wrap it up. The reason why I'm using foil on the outside is because when we do steam it, the yol does expand. So sometimes the banana leaves um, does break when it steams. So I like to use foil to protect it. Once our yol are nice and wrapped, we are going to place it into our steamer. And we're gonna steam this for at least 25 to 30 minutes. After it's done steaming, allow it to cool before you can consume it or pan fry it. Now if you allow this to cool completely, it is a lot easier to peel the rice cake from the foil. And you can eat this at this point. It's nice and soft and tender and really, really delicious to eat at this point. But for my grandma and my mom, they love to simply just place it on a griddle or a pan and just let it brown and crisp up on both sides and then enjoy it as it is. So I'm gonna cook this on my pancake griddle at about 350 degrees Fahrenheit. And just cook it for at least five to eight minutes on both sides or until it's nice and golden brown and then just take it off the heat and eat it as it is. Now this is new to me, but I wanted to pan fry it with some oil and add a sprinkle of salt to the top and the bottom and see if it tastes good. It was a little bit new to me at first, but I actually really enjoyed it the more I ate it. So if you wanna try this way too, definitely give it a go. Other than that, this is it for making yoful. So I hope you all can give this one a try. And until next time, I'll see you in my next video. I'm not going to take a cup of tea. Hehehe. Hmm. Look, 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 look,